is past 90 days late, then it's considered non-performing. But anything from current late, 90 days late or less, is considered performing. When you say 90 days, is 90 days without making a payments, or you have been, I mean, you get behind one payment, and then you make that payment, and you're still 90 behind? 90 days without making a payment. You can make day. payments within this process, but when you go, usually 90 days <clears throat> late, meaning you're three months behind on a payment. That's considered a performing note. Once they go to above 90, usually it's considered 120 days late. So I'm giving you a pricing. Anything 90 days or less is considered performing. The bank will sell this asset at the same price, whether it's 90 days late to current, same price. 120 days or more, the pricing different. You're going to be buying second mortgages that are non-performing. They're more than 120 days late. But you're looking for second mortgages with first mortgages in this space, current to 30 days late. Performing is 90 days or less, right? Current is current. 30 is 30 days late. So I will buy... Uh, current, rolling 30 and 30 days late. That's what I would buy. You might just want to buy all current, right? But if a bar is 30 days behind, they have the ability to catch up. So I'm still going to buy me personally. But usually you'll buy current on the first, 120 late and more on the second. So that's the difference between performing and non-performing. Okay. So when you go to buy the loan, you're going to get this tape, and then you're going to get every credit report for this tape. Then you're going to go through each credit report, and you're going to look at the bar credit, and you're going to look at, that's how you verify the status of the first. So I'm giving you a tape saying the first is current. You say, well, I like you a lot, but how do I verify this information? I'm going to give you the credit report. Right? You call the bank, and you punch in the account number and into the social security number, and the bank will tell you the status of the first. I'm just telling you, worst case scenario, how do you verify it? Mm -hmm. Call the direct source and punch in the numbers, and it'll say, last payment made, Next payment due. Current, I checked it, it's good. So you're going to get a current credit report that's no more than 30 days late. So we understand performing and not performing. So you have three different classifications of uh, performing and not performing loans. You have high equity, partial equity, and no equity. Example of high equity. Fair market value is... 500,000. FMV stands for fair market value. The first mortgage is 300K. The second mortgage is 100K. FME stands for fair market equity. Right? Fair market equity. The formula for fair market equity is the FMV minus senior pay off. FMV minus senior pay off. That is the definition for FME. So when you're buying a tape, make sure you ask the seller, what is the senior pay off? They should have it. Right? You want to make sure the senior payoff is on the tape. That's how you calculate the FME. Fair market value minus the senior payoff. I cannot stress that to you enough.